I'd like you to look at this image here because we do have a 12th anomaly, guys, of interstellar object 3i Atlas. And it's crazy when you look at this picture. So look at the bottom left. This is the direction where the sun is. And this is, well, this is the sunward direction. It's opposite to the arrow that you see on the on the middle here on the left, right? So we have an anti-tail. It's pointing towards the bottom of the left corner. Anti-tail, I've reported about this in my last video. That's not the anomaly, guys. And you see the white lines here in this picture. And you see where the lines are. You see this, this little bit of a darker, darker stuff coming out from 3i Atlas. These are the jets that they have discovered. So the jets, yeah, we've had that as an anomaly, but that's not what this video is about, guys. But it is related to the jets. The orientation of these jets is not smeared by rotation. Let's have a look into this. I'll explain to you what this is. It's really crazy. Let's jump back in time a little bit. Back in July 2025 and August 2025, when the interstellar object 3i Atlas was first discovered, it was indeed inferred to rotate with a period of 16.16 hours. So what does that mean? That means that 3i Atlas spins once every 16 hours. That's its rotation period, the time it takes to turn basically once around its own axis. We know that Earth, for example, rotates every 24 hours. I think now you have an idea. So keep that in mind when you hear what I'm about to tell you next. Because then, just a few days ago in early November, we have seen new pictures that showed something incredible, guys. Jets of gas and dust. And they were shooting out from 3i Atlas. Yeah, these are streams of material that is pushed out when sunlight heats the surface and makes ice turn directly into gas. I've explained it in my last video, that's called sublimation. And it basically, early November, it came out from perihelion, its closest point to the sun, where it gets the most heat from the sun. But here's the strange part, guys. Listen carefully. If interstellar object 3i Atlas is really spinning every 16 hours, those jets that we see here on that image, they should appear... They, to be smeared out. Why? Well, because the object is actually rotating while the gas is leaving the comet, right? But the image that was taken on November 9th was taken by astronomers F. Niebling and M. Büchner. It shows the opposite. Perfectly straight, narrow jets staying in the same exact direction for over a million kilometers. That's the 12th anomaly. But let's put that into perspective so that we better understand what we're dealing with here. Let's look at the typical speed with which gas escapes from a comate. That is around 400 meters per second or about 1,400 kilometers per hour. So it would roughly take a month for all that material to, tra to travel a million kilometers. You can do the math. Math doesn't lie. That means, guys, these jets that we see here, they stayed lined up perfectly for weeks, even though 3i Atlas is spinning every 16 hours. Harvard professor Avi Loeb has a few ideas regarding that. So he says the first reason why this is happening is that maybe the rotation of 3i Atlas has slowed down, but that is really unlikely. Normally, outgassing makes comets even spin faster, not slower. So that's not a very likely explanation. Another idea is connected to the sun. So if sunlight only hits certain pockets of ice 
at just the right angle. We can imagine like there's deep valleys on the surface. They're dark most of the time, but when the sunlight hits them directly, the ice suddenly heats up and bursts out the gas. So this could make a repeating pulsing jet. Could create kind of like a peas in a pot pattern along the beam. And Loeb has a calculation to back this up. He says if each puff comes every 16 hours and the gas moves at 400 meters per second, there would be about 43 puffs lined up across that 1 million kilometer jet. And each puff would be roughly 23,000 kilometers apart. And that would be an amazing detail, right? But this idea with the sunlight angle and the valley only works for jets that are pointing towards the sun. Not for those jets that are pointing away from the sun, right? That's clear. But the pictures that we see here, we see jets pointing in both directions, an anti-tail towards the sun and the tails away from the sun. So we have to look at another possibility. Are these jets, are the tails of small fragments, like bits of the main body of 3i Atlas that broke off and are now slowly evaporating? But that would mean that 3i Atlas did break up or explode near the sun, which basically everyone was expecting that it would do that. But we have newer images. I reported about this yesterday in my last video. Check out my, I, I put the playlist in the, in the end screen of this video. There you find all the videos, really, really interesting. And guys, please give this video a really hype and like and share it with your friends. Thank you for that. So small fragments, if it had exploded, but the pictures, you see them here from November 11, taken by Jewett and Lou, show that it's still one piece. And that was surprising everyone. It did not break up while it was shot at by the sun. It should have. It is still in one piece. Can be clearly seen on these images. So that theory, hmm, not so likely, right? This is another mystery why it is still in one piece. And then there's a way more speculative idea. What, are, what if these jets are not natural outgassing but controlled thrusters? We've discussed this. I mean, we have to look at every possibility until we have a solid explanation. So thrusters, something designed to maintain a steady orientation like navigation jets on a spacecraft. So guys, we don't know, but if we look at these images, whatever the cause, these new post sun images, they add yet another mystery to 3i Atlas. This is the 12th anomaly. And I'll just quickly tell you what all these anomalies are because it's fascinating. Number one, 3i Atlas orbit is tilted backwards, retrograde, yet it lines up almost perfectly with the plane where our planets orbit. That's extremely rare. Number two, it shows a sunward jet, an anti-tail that points towards the sun, unlike any normal comet. Number three, it's much bigger and faster than the two earlier interstellar objects, Womuama and Borisov, the first Borisov. We were dealing with the second Borisov right now. I also made a video about that. So number four, its arrival path was timed perfectly to pass by Mars, Venus, and Jupiter while staying hidden from Earth. We couldn't see it, and that is very unlikely by chance. So was that by intention? Number five, we know that its gas plume contains way more nickel than iron, and that is similar to industrial metal alloys. It's not typical for natural comates. Number six, it has only 
4% water by mass. Most, most comments are basically only water and ice. And number seven, it shows extreme negative polarization. It's basically light is scattering in a way never seen before in other comets. Number eight, this is interesting. It came from nearly the, the same direction as the world famous WOW radio signal from 1977. It, like within nine degrees. So number nine, when it was near the sun, it brightened extremely fast and even looked bluer than the sun itself. If you search for an explanation, look at my playlist. I'll explain everything in detail. I just don't want to go into the details right now. This would make this video too long. So if you're new here, subscribe, guys, and I bet like. So number 10, it's jets require an unrealistically large surface area to gather enough sunlight to power them because it cannot be explained how it has this speed but it is not large enough to create this energy basically check out my last video it's really really interesting i'll put this in the end screen number 11 it also shows a non-gravitational acceleration, meaning it's being pushed slightly by something other than gravity. But yet it still stayed intact. Well, and number 12, now we have these perfectly straight jets that stay aligned even though 3i Atlas is rotating. So, 3i Atlas, guys, keeps breaking the rules. It's spinning. The jets are staying perfectly straight. It's still in one piece when it shouldn't be. And it's showing features no known comet has ever displayed. So I think, guys, this story isn't over. And we just heard the news. We will see the high-rise images from NASA very soon, they said that. After the government opened back up, they said they would release these images. Some people wonder, during the shutdown, they kept releasing images from Mars on a regular basis. So why is it only that the three I Atlas pictures weren't released? They kind of said, well, uh, that's of national interest. Uh, yeah, but still, there's still some mystery around that. But it looks like new data will arrive soon and they could change everything we thought we know about interstellar visitors as we know them, meaning these interstellar objects. So guys, I hope you liked it. If you want to support the channel, link is in the description. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you here in a second in the next video.